guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart and sustainable approach to, uh, to fitness and martial arts for, for the older guys. So today I want to talk about something that I think is really important and uh, the subject is how do you practice martial arts forever, all right? It might sound crazy, it might sound impossible, but hear me out. In my opinion, it's all about injury prevention and injury management. Now, you want to do your best to prevent injury, but the fact is if you're, if you're practicing a martial art uh, where there's contact or sparring, you, you're going to, at one point or another, you're going to get hurt. But you can do certain things to try to, to, uh, to get hurt less often. So the first thing would be to warm up, all right? If you want to prevent injuries, you have to warm up properly. But you really got to warm up. Make sure like you're sweating and, and you're breathing hard and, and everything, you know? So that's first, okay? And then the second thing is, well, if you're practicing a sport where uh, you have to tap out, like in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, something that I did for about uh, six years, six, seven years, uh, you got to tap out early and you got to tap out quick, often, all right? Like leave your pride out of it, just tap. That way you don't, nothing pops, nothing cracks. You, you don't want none of that. So, you know, like leave your ego at the door. It's really important. And the same thing goes for um, judo. In judo, well, if you're on the ground, yeah, it's the same thing. Like, you know, you have to tap if you get submitted, right? If you get caught in an arm bar or a triangle or whatever. But if you're, most of the time in judo, well, not most of the time, all the time, you start standing up. And then, well, you know, you throw the person onto the ground, you know? And so the important thing is a lot of times we know the guy got us. You just have to accept the fall. Take the fall. You lost. It's okay. Get back up and then start over. What happens is that when you try to resist the fall, right? That's when you fall all crooked with your arm out, with your leg like wrapped around his leg or whatever. And something just fucking cracks and... and you know, it's, 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 it's terrible. I mean, it happened to me so many times. So you have to just accept like falling, you know? And uh, the same thing goes for wrestling, I imagine. Like uh, I've wrestled a little bit, you know, I've done, I've touched on wrestling, um, but I mean, I'm not an expert. So, but I, I'm guessing it's the same thing. Like if you, if you feel that the guy got you, he, it's technically sound, like don't try to muscle out, out of it, you know? Like you just, just fall and okay whatever he caught you get back up and that's how you should train most of the time but now here's the thing if you're if you're preparing for a competition that's the only time when okay your coach should be telling you okay guys competitions coming up we got to go more intense right so that's when you go intense in, in your sparring because you need that intensity to prepare for your competition but if you're going hard all the time like even on your off season like you're gonna you're gonna get hurt, you know, because that's just the nature of the sport. I mean, anything that has contact, you're gonna get busted up at one point. So, you know, you want to save those intense sparring for for when you're preparing for a competition. So that's that's it for injury uh, prevention. Now for in injury management, and this is something that you know you have to um, you have to be smart about. And and I I wasn't smart about it when uh, when I started doing martial arts and you know but here here's the way it should be done in my opinion okay now if you hurt yourself let's say you you get thrown something you feel something in your shoulder it's not right but you're like ah it's probably gonna get better let's see tomorrow okay so first thing you should do is uh you go home you should ice that shit you should take some uh advils you know uh, you take two three advils every day every couple of hours for like three days to get the inflammation down after that, you have to see like, okay, well, uh, how does it feel the next day, you know? And then like, if you see like, okay, you know, it's, it, it hurts more, obviously, it's always worse the next day or, the, or you know, when you get home and you cool down. But if it's, if it's okay, it's manageable, okay, then you have to wait and see. I would suggest you wait not more than five days to seven days, you know, a week max. And if it's not getting better and you're not able to move and stuff like that, you got to go see a doctor, you know, like never mind, don't, like after a week, if it's not getting better, it's, there, there might be something seriously wrong, you know, so 
you got to go see a doctor and um and if you're going to go back and train well make sure you're 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 uh, you're modifying your training so that you know you're not you're not like using like let's say that shoulder and and getting it more even more busted up you know so you should um uh what's the word i'm looking for you should tailor your training around your injury you know and then you go see the doctor and once you go see the doctor if you have to get your x-rays and mris like go get those because you really want to see what happened you know especially if you if you felt you know sometimes you feel a crack you it, you heard a crack or a pop you, you gotta if the doctor tells you you have to take an x-ray or mri get that done and then once you get the, get that done and let's say um okay now what's the next step if you have to do surgery well you know eesh, well then you have to do surgery but if you don't and he just tells you okay well listen it's kind of busted you need some rest you need to do some physio whatever it's the doctor that's going to tell you what's up and then from there so you let's say you have to go do physio well you go do your physio now while you're doing your physio you got to talk to your physio and ideally you want to go see a sports physio because a regular physio you know they're all they're all about just like getting people to walk properly again or as long as you can function that's good enough and you know they're not specialized enough you really need a sports physio so you, you work with your sports physio and then uh, you know he, then you do your exercises you go about it step by step and then from there well you talk to your physio and you tell them listen can I go back and train can I do uh, this type of training maybe just drilling or whatnot so you, that's where you tailor your training uh, according to around your injury and that's it listen um, that's all I want to talk about I hope this helps and I hope um, you know you guys are um, a little bit uh, smarter and more educated on, on the whole subject because uh, I've, I've had so many injuries and you know like really training smart and being smart about injury prevention and injury management I mean that's gonna keep you in the game much much longer because you don't want to be the guy that uh, that basically can't roll can't do jujitsu can't do no boxing can't do no nothing because you know you did too you weren't careful when you were younger and you piled up too many injuries and now you're you're done you know and I used to do this I used to do that yeah but you know so anyways that's it for me uh, like comment subscribe and um, I'll put a link down here for uh, the book uh, Becoming a Supple Leopard by Kelly Starrett. Uh, it's a book that I started reading. Uh, I did a whole video on it to review it and it's a really good book and I think that um, this book, well, it could help you with all the injuries and, and stuff that I do. So I know a lot of you guys are in the States and in the States, uh, healthcare isn't free and stuff like that. So that's why I recommend this book. And um, yeah, that's it, man. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.